how Stephanie Meyer gave a blogger an extra push. Stephanie Meyer blogged about me, and I was actually on vacation somewhere, and I went and logged on to my site, and I was like, my site, it's crashing every five minutes. Why is it crashing? <laughs> It was because Stephanie had linked to me and I had gotten, I think, 30 or 40,000 hits in like a few hours. Huge market for tabloids who base their stories on rumors. I decided the only sensible thing to do is to start my own tabloid. And my first exclusive shocking story, Robert Pattinson is having Kristen Stewart's babies. I'm gonna have your babies. One night I thought, well, I need to start a site because I have to read these books. And I thought, well, I'll do a journal of reading each chapter and say what I think about each one. Usually I try to read two chapters a week and then I'll write a post up and I'll put like funny photos in there and try and make fun of certain parts in there just to kind of add some humor to the story. And I do things with like Twilight News, like whenever we had, I try and tailor it towards guys of fandom where they'll actually like it and kind of think it's funny because I mean, it's kind of funny watching all the Twilight fangirls. Because as a guy, whenever you're reading the books, you're not reading them and going fangirl over Edward and Jane. Right, right. So you get a whole completely different perspective because you're not looking at it in that way. I think that they like the action inside of the stories. They like the vampires and the werewolves. And I, I think that it's a common misconception that guys don't like any romance at all in the book. Once you start to care about these characters, then you actually start to like it no matter if you're a guy or a girl.